Hello and welcome. Uh, Game Dad Gamer here. I have a Hayes 1200 baud modem. These were uh, this one was made in 1983. They first came out in 82. But this thing has not been turned on as far as I can tell. I bought it uh, mint condition here. You can tell it's I don't know if how well you can see it, but this is a mint and the Atari 850. This is an interface in the back, also from the same era. This I tested last night. It does work, but uh, we're going to power it on for the first time using the original Hayes power supply. So the first thing I need to do... Okay, power, su power supply is switched on. Now this... I did uh, switch the switch when I first unboxed it and it was really stiff, but hopefully it should be better now. There it is. Awesome. That's with the Hayes power supply. Then we have the mo the uh, interface. This now early uh, 80s and late 70s computers did not have an RS-232 interface typically. Anyway, here's the manual, the mint condition uh, manual. It was in the box. If you can tell, it's hard to tell. The one way to tell with these uh, Hayes modems, the the black rim. It's really a cover of the aluminum case. This gets all banged up and stuff. Now this is sort of like a DeLorean, huh? These these uh, these modems. All right. So what I'm really wanting to do is test the um, interface. Now I don't have a regular phone line, but I want to test here. All right. Let me start. Start. Give me a minute here. All right. I realized I didn't have the uh, SIO cable plugged into the PC. I'm using. I just connected this thing. This is this. Uh, Let's me use the uh, PC as a disk drive, floppy disk drive for the computer here. All right, it is booting. You can hear the. Uh... Oh, that's the disk drive booting, the program here. Zoom out. Bob term. I'll drop the brightness here. I don't think I can get both in the same shot too easily. Have to pull the camera back, I've got limited space here. But this has been a project for uh, months and months. All right, there we go. Now you can see both. Okay, welcome back. Now I think I just. Kind of weird. I had uh, had to put it in ASCII mode, so uh, now it's responding. The modem is working. It, it, it wasn't working in a TASCII. Maybe this. It used to be fine to do that. You used to be able to dot. You know, dial ATDT. There it is. It's going off hook. It's... Yay! You hear the modem? <laughs> Wow, I don't have a I don't have a phone line, but I'd love to have a phone line for this. Let's see. Um, what's a phone number I used to do? Uh, 737-6052. Let's hear. I think that one. Let's try that. Phone number. Now I didn't dial this time. Let's try again. ATDT. There it goes. <laughs> that was a <laughs> that was a phone freaking number. <laughs> that was one of the <laughs> and I heard that phone number dialed about a million times. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Won't say why I heard that, but I don't think that's the right phone number. It's close. Seven three seven. I think that was it. Anyway, so now we got <laughs> awesome. So this this modem works. This is awesome. All right, all right. Now I got it. I got it. It's partly set here, but now I want to get the Landtronics working since I don't have a regular phone line. But I wanted the I wanted the modem for the retro effect. You know, the the setup. It looks awesome to me. It just it's just awesome. And this computer is not going to be the final computer. This is a 130XE. It'll be 800XL. This is. This 130XE has been through, it's been used a lot, and it's, the keyboard is really sloppy. You can hear out, I don't know, it's just, I have a 65XE downstairs, but um, 
this has more RAM to work with the other term program. I want to try that next. Try the other term. So this is awesome. It does work. Wow. All original power supplies here. The 850 on the Atari power supply. Haze on the... Yep, these are all original 80s power supplies. And they work. Wow. And the, the 850 is just as... In, in a way, just as amazing. Because this is... It is absolutely perfectly mint. This 850. It's kind of hard to tell. I'll bring the camera up. Let's bring some more light. Let's move the manual. Yeah, there, that is a that is a mint 850. I have the unboxing uh, of it in my channel, the video. If you type search maybe Atari 850 or something like that. You'll find the uh, and this is the disk drive. This USB goes to the computer. So that's how I loaded uh, Bob Term. There's another one, Ice T or something like that, that I've got that I never used way back. It's a new one. All right, so that's it's responding on the screen. Let's try again. E T D T. I don't think it works lowercase. Let's. No, it doesn't work lowercase. Got it. E T D T. <laughs> there. It, the other one we had made sound when it hung up you'd hear a little Dee! it's hard to describe but this one I'm not hearing it maybe because there's no phone line plugged in alright wow so cool well, now I get, need to get a, maybe get a phone line I don't think so maybe alright I want to show you guys something here really cool so typically you dial a uh, phone number you dial phone number on your modem, right? And here's a okay. So that's the standard uh, Hayes dial speed, but that can be changed. This is one of the first things I do. I change it to 40. S11, ET S11 equals 40. The S registers. So now we do it again. Now it'll be a lot faster. And that worked even way back then. That was fine, that speed. But you can even go faster. Equals 5. This does not work. Probably wouldn't even work today. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like a fart. <laughs> My modem farted. Hey, I'm doing something. I'm, I'm doing something important in here. Don't bother me. Alright, AT... Uh, Z ATZ to reset to your factory. You can type AT and W to write to firmware your whatever setting. So let's say, see now I did ATZ right. If I type uh, a number here, it'll be back right because I reset. Whoops, that's not right. It should not have done that. What? Try again. It should not. Okay, there we go. So that now it's back to. That was weird. Why it picked up the phone and like the phone was ringing. All right, and answered it. Um, all right. So, but we can go ATS eleven equals forty, and then we can type AT and W to write. This. If I'm correct, I haven't read this stuff in a long time. I have the manual uh, error. It should be AT and AT and W. Let's. Look up in here in the. Alright, I gotta look through here. Manual. Alright, here's a cool command ATS16 equals 1 and then A. And this will test a originate of basically answering the. F uh, originating a call. Okay, no, not answer. This is answer mode, testing. There it is. We're connected. We are online. <laughs> We're online. <laughs> right, then, then you're online. It's like you're on a bulletin board or whatever. It's just res apparently responding to what I type. But if you want to get back to the modem control, three pluses. 
and then ATH. And listen carefully when I hit enter here, you'll hear the modem make a dink sound. It didn't do it. Why is it not doing it? Let's try again. 16 equals 1A. Let's try again. All right. Okay, carry detect off hook. All right, let's go. All right, T8. Let's, now let's try again. Now first, gonna go into command. Okay, ATH. Uh, sometimes it does it. I've heard it a couple times. All right. Wow. Got a modem to play with. It. <laughs> I have a fa much faster modem downstairs, but this one's way cooler. For retro, all right. It's a, I think it's a uh, 36, 336 modem downstairs. All right. I think I threw away my old 9600 baud internal modem. All right. Cool, but I can't get the Landtronics working. 